la arepa se frena. Ah, una reina catera. Y acción. <risa> Seguimos, la seguimos. Tom. Welcome back to another episode of Divina Cocina con Andreina. I'm Andreina. If you like cooking Venezuelan food, you want to learn more about our culture, uh, about the food we make, like this video, subscribe to this channel as we will be going through the Bible of Venezuelan cooking, Mi Cocina by Armando Escanone. No, this is not sponsored. No, I didn't write the book. I didn't write any of these recipes. I just grew up with them and I wanted to share them with you. So today we are going to be doing one of my favorite rellenos, which means filler of arepas. It's called Reina Papiada. Apparently, according to my camera woman today, she said that it is based on uh, Mi Venezuela. So pageant queen, miss, what is it called a pageant queen? No, no, no. And apparently a famous one in the 50s and they made this recipe after her. The first Venezuelan international beauty queen. There we go. Susana, Susana Dujim. Dujim. Oh, sorry. Apparently it means curvy queen. Curvy queen. Uh, like all the curvy queens here. Um, all my beautiful Latinas. Doesn't, you don't have to be curvy tampoco. It's okay. All different sizes, all different flavors. Entonces, this recipe consists of Chicken, avocado, mayo, salt, pepper, mustard, Worcestershire sour. Super easy. You can put it all together really fast. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. I cooked up three chicken breasts from Costco that I had. And you put them in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. 350 degrees, salt, pepper. I used avocado oil this time because it's at a higher heat. And then took them out, they cooled, let them cool completely, shred them super, super easy with two forks. Literally not hard like the Garnemeta episode, which I'll link right here, which you can see. And so yeah, so now we have our three chicken breasts, which I'm gonna put in here, this bowl, so that we can mix. And then I have three avocados. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of them, probably because if not, they're gonna go bad and I'm not gonna eat them during the day. So we might as well mix this in here, make them super creamy. So we're just gonna cut them up and place them into our bowl. We put it in the bowl and now I'm gonna mash it all up and mix it. It said for two, bre two chicken breasts, half a cup of mayonnaise. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. See if I have enough because this is a teeny tiny mayo. You can't always plan for this type of stuff, so yes you can. You can go to Publix and <laughs> buy food. Okay. I put that in there. Now let's make some mayo. Added an egg, a little bit of Dijon mustard, salt, a little bit of white wine vinegar, and avocado oil into this immersion blender cup and you're gonna blend it to make mayo, so here we go. So we've made our mayo. It tastes very much like avocado oil, but who cares because this is avocado. So we're gonna add more to this. More to this. Okay. Then we're gonna mix it all up. This is what makes it so delicious. Because, you know, mayo is just Fat and goodness, but good fat. Some este, Dijon mustard. Al gusto, as he says, to, to taste. And then we're gonna add some Worcestershire. He said about one eighth, so the should be good. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. Ooh! I 
fresquito. No, no. Me parece que le falta sal. Me siento some salt. Mezclarlo. Todo bien mezclado, mixerap. Um, my camera woman's mother-in-law puts in a little bit of ajo porro, no? Viste? Ajo porro, leeks, leeks. Ah, not fried, but cooked in butter, simmered in butter. Sauteed. Sauteed, esa es la palabra. Sauteed in butter and says it makes all the difference. I trust her. I'm sure it would be delicious. I know people have put onions in this too, pepper, ají dulce. So honestly, for these recipes, como que you can really add whatever you like in them, and they'll taste really good. So, I mean, puede meterle lo que quieras a la arepa. Like honestly, that's what she said. I know. <laughs> I know. If you want to learn how to make arepas, there's a video of how to make arepas. I'll link it here and it's my first one is not the best one pero it tells you how to do them and those are also very very easy to make and very fun to make they are some of my favorite things to create all right vamos. let's try this this one so mm, i like that more thank you for joining us again i come out with videos every week so again like subscribe and I'll have